Well, the South, listen, this, I think the Northerners and the Centralers and the Isan people will tell you that the Southerners are all thugs and, 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 and uh, ruffians and, and not to be trusted. I watch a lot of old movies, old Thai movies uh, on YouTube, and that seems to be a thread. People from the South are dark-skinned, and there's a lot of Muslims down here. Therefore, people from the South are not to be trusted. And they speak Lang Thai, which nobody understands. Somebody from Bangkok can understand Pasanuda. Uh, they can understand what they speak in Chiang Mai. Everybody can understand Isan because there's Isan people making some thumb in every city in, 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 in Thailand. But the Southerners, uh, when they go north, they'll speak Central or this, but whatever. Nobody can understand Lang Thai outside of the Southern provinces. So the Southern, the, the South has always been a dark place full of mystery and distrust and violence and aggression in the minds of people in the North and the, and the Central. And the fact that, you know, these three Southern provinces, what are they, Yala, Naradiwat, and pa, 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 pa. Anyway, where they're blowing up schools and blowing up bus stations and yep. stuff like that because they've only been part of thailand since the end of world war ii before that they were malaysia's northernmost sultanate and they, there are people alive who remember when they weren't thai and this whole thing of having to go to school on monastery grounds and having buddhist curricula having muslim children who used to be malay just speaking thai instead of malay is a point of contention so all of that adds or fuels to this perception of Southerners, dark-skinned, weirdly dressed, oddly speaking, Southerners uh, being distrusted. Uh, I think that's that's a big part of it. Well, it would have been the Wild West down mm -hmm. here. I mean, again, there's yeah. no roads. It's jungle. You, yeah. I, uh, we, uh, Colin McKay was explaining that a lot of the roads that they followed to get across from uh, Nakansi Tamarat, even down to Krabi, it's actually you're just following elephant trails. Mm -hmm. It's the yeah. only way to get through. <clears throat> and then hopefully you didn't get run over. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, there was an author who lived on Phuket uh, named Tristan Jones. He's a Welsh guy. And, he's, still, and he's still here? No. God, no, he died in 89, 90. But he's, he had about 20 books about yachting. He was a single-handed yachtsman. His business was uh, bringing, he'd get hired to bring a yacht from Europe to America, from Europe to Africa. Somebody would buy a yacht and then... He didn't want to sail it home to, to, yep. to Canada or wherever. So uh, Tristan, they would hire Tristan, and he wouldn't hire a crew because he was cheap that way. So he held the record for the most single-handed crossings of the Atlantic. He did a lot of other things. He took a boat, a sailing boat, from the Dead Sea, the lowest navigable water on the planet, to Lake Titicaca, the highest navigable water on the planet, single-handedly sailed a boat the entire distance from the Dead Sea in the Middle East to the, 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 across the Mato Grosso, up the Amazon to Lake Titicaca. He did amazing shit, and he ended his life. He lost his legs to diabetes and couldn't sail anymore, and he just washed up on Phuket, mm. ended his life on Phuket. But his last book is called To Venture Further, and it's about taking a long-tailed boat with a crew of three disabled Thai boys and him without his legs, three disabled Thai teenagers, one with only one arm, uh, one was deaf, and one, I think, had a cleft palate. And the four of them took a long tail from here across the Kra Peninsula uh, to the other side, up the Gulf, all the way up the, the, the Menam Chao Praya to the Maping, all the way to Chiang Mai. And he wrote a book to venture further about this, this experience. Well, the part, the leg of the trip from here to the Gulf of Thailand, uh, yeah, the Gulf of Siam. On this side of the island, 